Let me show you how to operate the desktop spectrophotometer YS6060. First, let's take a look at the external structure of the instrument. Here are print port, USB port, DC power port, and the power switch, push one to turn on. At the left, we can see the model. It's the YS6060. And here is the transmissive major port, display screen, indicator light. If dual ring measurement, the instrument runs abnormal. It turns red and keep red, measuring key. And here is the reflection measurement position. These are four measuring apertures of different sizes, and another one is at here. This is a sample holder. You can put it at here. Reflective white board. Transmissive black plate. And this one is a reflective black trap. And now we can see the main menu. The first one is data manage. We can see the function is to management is to manage the record. We can check record. And to lock it, replace it, or to current standard. or delete search record. The second one is a calibration. This is the function of a illuminant. There are two observer angle, 10 degree and two degree. These are illuminant. The first parameter is the most frequency is the most frequency used of all settings. So there is so there is the first one. Okay. UV illuminate. This feature needs to be used when the product contains a fluorescent brightener. Then we need to select the major mode. First, we set the reflective major. Select the aperture that we need. If you need the average measurement, you can set it. The next one is color space. The first one is also the used frequency is also is the most frequently used. Color index. There are different color index that can be suitable for different industries. Some optional chromaticity index. We can select the uh, whiteness. Okay. And the display settings. Color offset and the test result. We need to select uh, these two functions. And uh, here are settings of the system. And after setting all the parameters, we begin to do the calibration. According to the warning.
three first to do the black calibration. Press the measuring button. And we can see it turns into white calibration. So we do the white calibration. Press it again. Okay, after do the calibration, we can return the test interface. The left, we can select the parameters quickly. And we can see the aperture and the temperature and the reflectivity or the motors is appearing at here. First, we test the standard, a brown card. And then press the measuring button. So we can see the LAB value are changed, and we can use this camera location function to see the location. And uh, we can delete the delete these values. Click this icon, we can see other parameters. This is the reflectivity of a different wavelength. And we also can see the whiteness in different standard. Then we enter the sample measure. The sample is a pink paper. Press the measuring button again. So we can see the result is fair. And uh, the last one is uh, more right, redder, and more blue. And then we set the measure model to test a transmissive measure. For example, some liquids. And then we need to do the calibration again. The transmission pin, we put the blackboard. And press the measuring key. And then it's a white calibration. Here's a note, when measure the transmitted liquid, white calibration is done with the distilled water, and when measure the transmitted solid, white calibration is done with the air. So now we need to test the liquid. We do the calibration with the distilled water. And now calibration is valid. Then we enter the test uh, interface. And when we make a transmission measurement, make sure the reflection whiteboard is in the reflection measurement position. Okay. Also, we do the Test first test the standard.
press the measuring key. Oh no. Oh, this is our first demonstration that we need to cover the transmission module when measuring transparent product. Yes, this is right. And then we test the sample. And uh, we can see the difference between the two liquid. That's all. Thank you for your patience.